Sup everybody! So while we wait for the next uh, update of uh, Roblox Epic Mini Games, I thought I'll, I thought I want to check out some tier list for you, and it's called lists of mini games of all mini games and Roblox Epic Mini Games, and yeah, and I'll be ranking all of them to see which is which is which is my favorite, which is the most difficult, which is the difficult game, which is the most easiest game, uh, mini game though. And, uh, yup. And, and also, I'm not, and this video is not gonna be doing a intro, because it is my birthday today! Yup, uh, yeah, I'm turning 19 years old, uh, today. And, uh, yup. Uh, and this is why I should be making a special video for you guys. And also, remember the last live stream that I did, uh, uh, playing, playing all the, all the minigames in one live stream? Yeah, I was totally ruined it by the one infamous, infamous hater. Uh, what should I say? Stalker, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, but, and I thought I would be checking out, because I already shared on Twitter, uh, in, like, the past weeks ago. But if you if you wanna create if you wanna create yourself and edit your tier list, then the link is in the cushion down below. And uh, yep, and this is what I made it from him. The most favorite mini game is like the all all the time favorite mini game, and favorite ge mini games is like uh, one of the fa one of my favorite mini games. And also good, not bad, and difficult hard mini game are like difficulties. Well, based on what players are, in, what what how many players are in this server? Like, twelve, nine, th three players. So, uh, yup. Um, and uh, yeah, and here are the lists of all mini games that I that I screenshotted with with my light shot. And, and yeah, and here's as of fourth uh, fourth uh, of September, twenty twenty two, because it updated with back with Backstreet Brawl. Right, right at the bottom, and yeah. So we're gonna start off with the order, with an order, in order of this, uh, and uh, let's let's do it. So first off, we have a Skewer Shuffle. Okay, uh, Skewer Shuffle. It's like a a good mini game, but also kind of like a e the the easiest mini game. So uh, yeah, and you have to dodge those uh, spikes. Uh, uh, you have to dodge those spikes uh, over there, and uh, th that's basically it. Uh, uh, it's it's technically the easiest game, but imagine if you if you're the first time, uh, you would basically dodge uh, very easily. So I'm gonna put this on a good mini game, which is uh, kind of easy. So uh, yeah, boom. For next up is a slippery sliding. Okay, slippery sliding. It's a racing mini game, and you have to be in the first place, uh, and uh, you have to be in the first place uh, uh, to get the badge. Uh, well, it's it's kind of like a hard uh, to get the badge because uh, depending on how many players are in the server. But if you're in a private server with a one v one with a racing game, you will get easily the badge. Uh, so uh yeah but I'm guessing slippery sliding uh well it's kind of like a okay so imagine if you were the fir first time well there's a, there's technically a uh, one bug that actually jumps off of the box uh, so it's kind of like a not bad mini game um, well, I'm going to put this on not bad mini game to be honest okay so next one is a solo swordsman Okay, so th in this mini game, a solo swordsman, uh, you have to be, you have to be one. There's only one killer, and you have to kill all the players. Well, depending on how, on how difficulty it is, and um, so I mean, you can totally survive. On, it's, it's like a, it's like a survival mini game, and uh, yeah, but and and it's kind of like not bad mini game, but I'm gonna put this on not bad mini game. Over there. Okay, so next one is a spiky spinner. Well, uh, well, this is technically a survival mini game, also known as controller killer mini game, if you count. So uh, yeah, a spiky spinner is kind of like a uh, inspired by one of the Mario Party mini games. So we have to be the spi the spike uh, killer or something. 
But it's kind of like, uh, I mean, some people say it's difficult because uh, how can you dodge the spike uh, based on your control as a killer? Well, I'm gonna have to choose on the difficult mini game because uh, it's it's because of the spike uh, controller, b based on the player or what professional player it is. Okay, so next one is spiral accent accent. Okay, so spiral accent is like a ra another racing mini game. Uh, whatever you first or not, um, and it's kind of like uh, the most challenging mini game. But I would say I would say it's. I mean, the obstacles are kind of like um, less less difficult, but like uh, well, the obstacles are kind of like a uh, easy easy way to beat it. And I would say not bad mini game uh, to be honest. So uh, yep. Um. Okay, so next one is survive the spares. Um. Okay, so in this mini game, you have to dodge the you have to dodge those spares. Uh, but uh, yep. Uh, yeah, you have to dodge those spares, and yeah, it's kind of like a, a not bad mini game, or or should I say the difficult mini game based on how many spares are there. Well, I would say a difficult mini game to be honest. So, uh, yep. And also teamwork trial. Uh, I gotta say it's uh, one of my favorite mini games because it's an obby based uh, mini game. And like I said, I love I I love uh, obby mini. I love Roblox obby games. And yeah, this is one this is one of my favorite mini games of all time. And uh, yep. Um, Okay, so next one is Teetering Turmoil. Uh, this is this is kind of like inspired by uh, Bombs Away from Mario Party 1, or if that counts. And uh, like I said, it, I mean, if I played Mario Party 1, the Bombs Away minigame, that would be totally easy. So it's kind of like a good minigame. Uh, I mean, they basically rip off, rip, ripped off of a Mario Party game. Uh, a mini game from Mario Party, but it's kind of like a well well made mini game, but it's still good though. I'll put this on the top. A uh, good mini game. Okay, next one is the Crusher. The Crusher mini game that all started because of the new mini game, the, the new game uh, created by Typical Type, the Crusher. And you should check that game out because it's technically inspired of it. So I gotta choose this one. A very 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 well made. Mini game, a good mini game by Typical Type himself. So, uh, yep. Next one is the Sweeper. Yeah, the Sweeper, the most iconic mini game. It's like spinning, spinning lasers or thingies. Yeah, it's basically the most iconic mini game on Roblox for the entire for the past years. And I would say my most favorite mini game because I can definitely beat it uh, so easily. Okay, next one is Big Bomb Boom, uh, another inspiration of Mario Party mini game, uh, which is uh, the the blast uh, when you have to uh, choose uh, one of the buttons uh, thingies, and uh, Bowser's head uh, blows up uh, when you pick the wrong one. And I would say it's a very well made mini game. Well, well, technically an inspiration. So uh, yeah, um, I would say a. Uh, uh, between Teetering Turmoil and Skewer Shuffle, a good mini game, also known as Well Made. Uh, I should have renamed the Well Made, but never mind. Uh, next one is Tile Takeover. Uh, okay, so it's a team mini game. It's a, it's a base team mini game. Uh, you have uh, based on the difficult, uh, based on uh, which players are professionals or something. And by the way, there's one problem that uh, like if you like. Uh, Never, may, maybe never mind. But you know what I mean. You like uh, if you try to do do the same thing and like uh, just w whooping around uh, all around, uh, trying to get to uh, tile. But I'll say it's difficult. Yeah, I'll say I'll say it's less difficult. So uh, yep. Yeah, Okay, so next one is Toxic Reactions. Well, it's definitely an easy mini. Well, it's definitely like a not bad mini game because uh, Toxic Reactions is kind of like a sh uh, it's kind of like a shy guy says or something. Uh, it's not shy guy says, but from Mario Party. But 
toxic reaction is um I would say easy mini game, uh, so uh, I would say a good mini game, and it's basically an old mini game from the 2000 from 2016 or 2015, I should say, and yeah. Okay, uh, next one is uh, Train Trouble. Well, Train Trouble is a very old mini game from 2015, and I gotta say it's uh, pretty good. So I'll put this on a good mini game, to be honest. Okay, so next one is Treacherous Tiles. Uh, it's basically on which t which uh, randomly randomly tiles will get uh fall off. Uh, so it's kind of like a not bad mini game, uh, to be honest. Um, well, for beginners, I should say. And uh, yeah, I gotta put this on uh, here. Okay, so next one is Trial Traversing. Well, it's basically a teamwork trial, to be honest. But, like I said before, I like uh, obbies, so I'm gonna put this on the f one of my favorite mini games of all time. Okay, so next one is Turnable Scurry. Well, it's kinda like inspired by one of the Mario Party mini, Mario Party mini games from the past years. Uh, I should say Mario Party 7, if that counts. Uh, and uh, yeah, but uh, and it's kind of like a uh, like not uh not bad mini game, but uh, yeah, not bad mini game. So uh, man, uh, I wonder if I wonder if I could put this. Uh, where do I put Turnable Scurry, man? Uh, I should say um. Well, I think I should say, okay, Turnable Scurry, well, it's kind of like a difficult minigame, uh, it's kind of difficult minigame based on which turn, which way are you going, well, uh, it's like less difficult, but I'll put this uh, here. Okay, next one is Uncertain Ground, uh, well, not bad minigame, uh, based on uh, which difficulty it is. And it's a, it's a survival mini game, so uh, yeah. But on certain ground, I'll say it's a good mini game uh, based on which obstacles it is. Okay, so uh, next up is Undead Abort. It's a survival mini game, but you have to kill all the pirates. Well, uh, I would say difficult mini game because if there's many too too many pirates, uh, uh, there's no chance that you could kill them all. Well, uh, I mean, like I ha like I said, I hate I hate sword fighting with players, so uh, I, I gotta choose as like a uh, diff less 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 difficult or something. Okay, so next one is Waka Block, another very old mini game from from 2015 or 2016 if that counts. So uh, Waka Block, um, it's kind of like a Waka a Mall arcade uh, went from. Arcade, uh, when you have to punch those, uh, when you have to punch those moles uh, around you, it's, it's yeah, it's basically kind of inspired of it, but well made, well made, very well made mini game. Uh, I gotta put this on good mini game. Okay, so next one is Black Hole Scramble, uh, another very old mini game from uh, 2017 or 2016, I should say. Well, Black Hole Scramble is just a, uh, uh, we have to jump on those meteors and don't get sucked uh, on the black hole. So, uh, yep. Um, well, Black Hole Scramble, it's like a not bad mini game. I gotta put this uh, here. Okay, so next one is Blast Mining. Okay, so it's basically you have to mine, but you have to watch out. It's basically like mines, but you have to watch out for the bombs. It's a, okay. So imagine, imagine if you were if you were the faster, then you will put then you will put the then you will then you will the do the bombs uh, though. So I would say easy mini game to be honest because uh, I could do it. I can do it. Uh, I can do it uh, easy than, than myself. So uh, yeah, blast mining. I'll go. I'll go put this on here. Well, so far so good. We haven't put in the hard mini game. So far, okay. So next one is Block Hunt. Uh, well, Block Hunt is kind of like a hard mini game because uh, depending on uh, 
depending on hard for you're looking for 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 blocks and that's pretty much it i would say it's a less hard uh, so i'm gonna put this on here okay so next one is blow dry battle well blow dry battle is kind of like a difficult mini game uh, based on which direction are you supposed to kill people so uh blow dry battle i gotta put this on the uh, less difficult Okay, so next one is Bomb Ball. Uh, it's kind of like Hot Potato. Okay, so this game is kind of like Hot Potato, to be honest. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's and it's another survival mini game, but I would say a well made mini game. So, uh, yeah, a good mini game, by the way. Okay, as for the next one, Bombastic Bash. Uh, uh, the Bombastic Bash is basically like a, you try to. Uh, from your team, uh, those thingies. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Bombastic Bash. I would say not bad mini game. Okay, so so the next one is uh, Bomber Blocks. Okay, so this this mini game is kind of like heavily inspired by Bomber by Barberman, Barberman franchise. Uh, if you if you if you if you know if you don't know. So uh, yeah, B Bomber Blocks. I would say it's a very well made mini game. Uh, it kind of like inspiration of Bomberman games, but I would say a good mini game, by the way. And also technically, and also technically, and also technically difficult mini game. Well, based on a timer though. And uh, yup, and you try to kill one player, but it's kind of like a difficult mini game. So I'll, I'm gonna put this. Uh, I'm gonna decrease it to the difficult mini game, so uh, yeah. Okay, so next one is Bombs Away. Well, I gotta say, Bombs Away. It's a very, it's another very old mini game, but I gotta say, it's a uh, very well made. So I'm gonna put this uh, here. Okay, so next one is Book Squash. Okay, it's a, it's, it, it actually they ripped off of Mario Party 4 mini game called Book Squirm. And it's pretty well made mini game, uh, to be honest. And it's kind of like good mini game. I would say it's a top because it's definitely Mario Party 4 mini game. And this made players a made this made players a very nostalgic from playing Mario Party 4 on GameCube and on or on emulator, I should say. Okay, so next one is Above Water. Uh, well, it's another team based mini game with with a rocket launcher. I would say uh, not bad mini game. And the bowling bustle, I would say it's a very easy mini game to be honest, because no one is no one is hitting me so far. And uh, yup, uh, uh, bowling bustle, I would say not bad mini game. Uh, over here. Well, depending. Well, depending. Well, it's kind of like difficult uh, of uh, how you, how gonna be the killer. Well, it's it's, well, it, okay. So imagine if you were the killer, and it's so hard to take take the players down. Like it's so easy. I would say, I might. Mean, I mean, as a killer, I would say a hard mini game though. Well, based on the killer. And the next one is Brick Battle. Okay, so Brick Bell, it's dead. It's technically Crossroads if you, if it does if it does count. Well, like I said, I I, I like Crossroads. Uh, I like Brick Battle. I like the nostalgic, uh, iconic uh, weapons from the Ro Roblox uh, 2012 or Roblox 2006 2008. If that counts, uh, I would say it's a very nostalgic. Uh, I, I'm gonna put this on uh, a good mini game. Okay, so next one is uh, Bullet Bound. Well, Bullet Bound is kind of like a, a racing mini game. I, I would totally d uh, beat that very easily. So I would say good mini game though. Okay, so next one is Bullet Evasion. Well, it's very easy to dodge. Uh, it's very easy. To, it's very easy to dodge those. Uh, but uh, yep, um, and also uh, pretty well made uh, though. And I gotta say, Bullet Evasion, well, a uh, good mini game also. Uh, uh, I'm gonna put this on uh, uh, here. Okay, so next one is Cake Delivery. 
Well, it's a very, very easy mini game. Well, well, kind of like a uh, difficult mini game because uh, uh, imagine for the first time playing Cake Delivery and you're finding yourself which door is the correct one. So I gotta say it's less difficult, to be honest. Okay, so next one is Cannon Cooldown. It's a it's a very it's another very old mini game from 2015. Uh, yeah, um, and Cannon Cooldown is another team based mini game, and uh, yeah, and I would I, I I should I should say uh not bad mini game because uh well the buttons are kind of like a random random appeared, so uh yeah, um. Okay, so next one is Castle Clash. Uh, well, another difficult mini game, um, based on your how professional are you at sword fighting. Uh, I should say Castle Clash. It's like a uh, uh, difficult above uh, pom bomber blocks. So next one is Castle Climb. Well, it's my most favorite mini games. So, uh, well, it's it's one of my favorite mini games because. Uh, it's like uh, when you press those buttons, uh, it's kind of like more like a uh, Funky Friday or something. When you have to press those keep uh, keep keep buttons on the on your keyboard. So uh, yeah, well, imagine if you're the first time playing Castle Climb, you don't know which uh, which button is this, and you you're like uh, uh, hurrying hurrying it up, um, and uh, yep, I'd say uh, not. I'd say. I'd say not bad mini game because of uh, of which buttons uh, it made you confused of which uh, it made you, it made confuses you and and not to be hurry. Well, I would say good mini game because uh, I can beat it till I can beat it like so easily. Okay, so next one is clear side. Uh, well, easy answer. Uh, difficult mini game because uh, uh, based on. Uh, which players are like professionals and stuff? Okay, we're in a halfway through. Uh, clear side, I would say not bad mini game uh, over here. And as for the next one, clear side chaos. Uh, again, not bad mini game base of which randomly these uh, block thingies uh, are like appeared or anything. But I would say not bad mini game. Okay, as for the next one, accurate archery. Uh, it's kind of like difficult mini game. Uh, when when you have to be faster to get the shots. At, well, well, except for the golden one, well, which is the most difficult one. So I should say uh, probably at the top of the bomber blocks, above bomber block, below bomber blocks though. So uh, yeah. So next one is cloud control. Well, well, it's technically easy mini game, but also, but also kind of like less difficult. So I should say cloud control. Uh, yeah, and also reminder, we're not gonna count those uh, alternative maps. Uh, and yeah, for the cloud control, uh, I should say not bad. Uh, I should say not bad mini game. Or, or should I say good mini game? Because uh, yeah, depends on depends on which chance uh, of I winning. Okay, so next one is uh, colossal assault. Uh, well, it's a boss battle mini game. Uh, I should say it's a uh, it's a very well made it's a very well made. Uh, I should say a top of the good mini game because it's a very well made. Depending on bosses animations uh, and something like that. And uh, yup, and the next one is Compactor Crash. Uh, well, Compactor Crash is like the difficult mini game. Well, well, if they're try, if other players are trying to take their spot, well, you will get died. So I would say a difficult mini game though. Okay, so the next one, Conveyor Conundrum. Uh, uh, I I would say an easy mini game because I can totally beat beat it easily. So, uh, yep, um, uh, Conveyor Conundrum, I'll put this, uh, over here. Okay, as for the next one, Crack Clamber, uh, again, another, again. Wait, uh, Castle Climb, oh, it's a very easy, okay. Like I said, uh, OB mini games, uh, totally my favorite. Uh, I, I should increase it to this one, a favorite mini game. 
Okay, so crack cl crack clamber. Uh, so this is a crack clamber. The button's thingy. Well, castle climb is a different because it, it's an all beam based mini game. We have to climb to the top. Uh, and uh, as for the crack climber, I would say uh, a good mini game because of the buttons. As for the crumble island, uh, uh, the uh, random it sometimes randomly uh, fall off the islands, uh, depending on which which uh, which uh, island you stand on. Uh, not not which island, but which uh, uh, platform you stand on. Well, I would say not bad mini game, uh, to be honest. So, uh, yep. Okay, so next one is crystal clear, uh, easy, uh, difficult mini game because uh, you have to be the faster to to get the crystal, or or otherwise other player will get will get it. As for the next one, cube factory, uh, it's kind of like not bad mini game because uh, you have to press those buttons like fast as fast as you can. But, uh, yep, I would say above uh, Crumble Island. Uh, below Crumble Island. And, yep. As for the next one, okay, we're halfway through. As for the next one, Different Station Dash, uh, it's another another old mini game from 2015. Well, Different Station Dash, uh, I would say well made. Very well made uh, mini game, but also not bad mini game, depends on. Which difficulty it is, so I would say uh, above a uh, bum ball. As for next one, desert de dehydration. Well, not bad mini game. Well, well, it it, it depends on how many players is this is, because uh, if you try to get a Bloxic Cola, uh, yeah, the Bloxic Cola is a very iconic item on, on Roblox for the past years. And uh, as for desert dehydration, uh, not bad mini game because it depends on which um, depends on which uh, how many players are in. As for avalanche, uh, oh yeah, hard mini game because uh, avalanches are too fast. So uh, yep. Okay, so next one is destroy the statue. Well, kind of like difficult mini game because, uh, like I said, I hate sword fighting and. Uh, yeah, I would say less difficulty. I would say less difficult uh, because of the sword fighting. Okay, so as for dizzing decisions, uh, well, imagine if you're the first time playing dizzing decisions and you would try to remember the platform and it would spin like very fast and you can't remember it. So it's kind of like not bad mini game, but also difficult mini game for well for beginners uh, as a. As, as should I say? So, uh, yep. Um, well, for dodgeball, uh, one of my favorite mini games and also iconic. So, uh, for dodgeball, yep. Um, or should I say, g a good mini game besides uh, here? Yeah, because because dodgeball is a very iconic mini game on Roblox from the past years. Well, Alex Utron uh, created a Roblox dodgeball game. But kind of like passed out. But kind of like passed out the game because nobody ever played it anymore, and it's kind of like the past years. So, next one is Down Hero, another very old mini game from 2016, and it's a racing mini game. I would say a good mini game. So I would say a good mini game though. Depends on which uh, difficulty. Okay, so next one is drawing the line. Well, kind of like not bad mini game, and also it took inspiration of Mario Party 4 mini games. One, one of one of the Mario Party 4 mini games. Uh, another inspiration of Mario Party 4. And uh, yup, um, a drawing the line. I would say it's a very well made. Uh, so uh, I gotta put this below book above uh, book squash. Okay, so next one is Eagle Observation. Well, it's 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 technically counted the Eagles, not the Wolves. Because if you count the Wolves, uh, well, <laughs> you'll totally get doomed. And uh, yeah, I would say Eagle Observation, well, not bad minigame. Uh, kind of... Well, as for a good minigame, because I can count those Eagles easily, so uh, I would say good minigame above a differentiation dash. 
Okay, so next one is Expedition Sprint. Uh, uh, one of my favorite mini games because it's a racing mini game and also, yeah, I I like uh, sp so yeah, I like speed run and uh, yeah, one of my favorite mini games. Uh, I gotta put this on here. Okay, so next one is Fishing Frenzy. Uh, another inspiration of Mario Party, one of the Mario Party mini games, and you have to catch the golden fish because it's like a uh, um less difficult. So uh, I will choose a less difficult than uh, di than the cake delivery. So, well, cake. Well, actually, above accurate archery because uh, because the golden golden ar archery and a golden f golden fish. So uh, yeah. And also, fleet of facility, uh, racing mini game, uh, a speed a, sp a l little bit of speed run uh, kind of thing. So one of my favorite mini games though. I gotta put this on here. Okay, so next one is Flintlock uh, Fight. It's okay, so it's actually a gun mini game uh, with a revolver. And uh, well, de depends on how accuracy are you gonna shoot the players, but it's kind of like a difficult mini game. But I would say below uh, Castle Clash. Castle Clash. As for next one, Aztec Adventure, a uh, very well mini game. Uh, it's another OB mini game. It's got like another OB mini game, but I would say a uh, favorite. Uh, it's kind. Of, I would say a very, very well, well made mini game. Well, based on the obstacles, though. Based on the obstacles, though. Okay, as for next one, uh, football fever. Imagine if everyone likes football. Uh, so I would say good mini game. Uh, well, football is well, well mo it's uh, males' favorite sport. So uh, yeah. Well, as for cor as for four corners, uh, easy, a uh, hard mini game. So I'm gonna put this below uh, above block hunt. Uh, and for freeze of fray, uh, kind of like uh, difficult, well, less difficult than the castle clash and flint flock fight. So I would say between uh, flint flock, uh, flint lock fight and castle clash, though. As for next one, gear battle. Well, you will be given a random gears, which is which is like mo most of them. Some of them are iconic. Some of them are nostalgic. Well, from the, from the past from the past Roblox years, and I would say very well made. Uh, I would say very well made mini game. To be honest, uh, well besides Gear Battle, well well Brick Battle is kind of most most nostalgic. Uh, I would say ab above Brick Battle. As for next one, Gladiator the Grounds is a very old mini game. Uh, from 2015. Well, it's a sword fighting mini game, and I'll say difficult one above a flint flock cup fight, and you have to be in the last person standing. So, uh, yup. Well, as for going underground, uh, uh, it's kind of like not bad mini game because I can totally beat it easily. Uh, I would say below uh, uh, above toxic reactions. As for next one, uh, go hard pressed. Uh, oh man, hard pressed. Well, it's a very easy mini game. I can totally beat it easily. So uh, hard pressed. I gotta put this uh, uh, above uncertain ground, or maybe between uh, uncertain ground and screw shuffle. Okay, so next one is uh, haunted hallways. Well, it's another very old mini game from 2015. And uh, I gotta say, well, we have to be the first play, first, per last person, first, first person to be here to 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 win, while the others loses if the first person uh, wins. So I'd say let's. So I'd say not bad mini game, I should say. And uh, the hedge way out, it's kind of like uh, less difficult. So I got to put this uh well depends on which way you're going so uh, I got to put this on uh uh between turnable scurry and spike spinner As for hand hurting uh very well made mini game and you have to catch those 
chickens before anyone else. Uh, so it's kind of like a not bad mini game. Uh, I'm gonna say above uh, desert desert hydration. As for back forth dash, uh, well, it's kind of like uh, well, I like all B mini games, but uh, but it's technically not my favorite uh, because of the of how of how difficult this is. But uh, I should say. I should say not bad mini game because of the how difficult is the timer or something. Okay, uh, hexagon. Uh, uh, the second most favorite mini game because it's a, it's a spleef mini game. So yeah, yeah. Let me put this. Uh, uh, yeah, it's the second most favorite mini game. A uh, hex hexagon, and it's basically inspired by Fall Guys. If you don't know, it's basically spleef. Uh, so yeah, this is my this, and it's the most iconic uh, Roblox mini game called Splee uh, for for the whole time. So uh, yeah, okay. So next one is Hide Hunt. Well, it's basically prop hunts, but again, one of uh, third most favorite mini game. So uh, what and third most favorite mini game because I like prop hunts. So uh, yep, uh, and above Hexagon. So uh, yep. Uh, as for higher pressure, I can totally beat that very easily. So I could, I, I just say good mini game because of how difficult, it, how difficult this is. And next one is high rolling. Well, less difficult because uh, imagine if you were the, well, imagine if you were the first uh, person, if you, imagine if you were the uh, first time playing this mini game, and you would totally fall off easily. Well, they fixed the this. Um, well, they technically fixed the uh, not fi well. They technically fixed the issue back in uh, like 2018 or 2019, but I should say not bad mini game or something. Oh, next one, Hurdle Hurry. Well, one of my one of my favorite mini games. I should say easy favorite mini game because uh, because it's technically inspired by one of the Olympic Games uh, thingy of the events. So uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, as for Juggernaut, uh, well, imagine if uh, as a killer, well, it's kind of like a hard mini game. So I should say between Avalanche and Bowling Bustle. As for Just Jump, uh, well, very easy mini game. Uh, I should say, uh, well, I should say below uh, Bombs Away, uh, between Bombs Away and Astic Adventure. As for King of the Hill, well, difficult mini game. I should say um, uh, between Crystal Clear and Accurate Archery. Well, actually, uh, never mind. Uh, Flintlock fight and f between between Flintlock, Flintlock fight and Freeze Affray. So, uh, yep. Next one is another very old mini game. Uh, lane jumping from 2015. Uh, very easy mini game. Uh, I should say. And uh, yeah, I gotta put this uh, between down here roll and bullet bound. As for laser cutting, uh, one of my favorite mini games because I can totally beat that very easily. So uh, yeah, uh, more of my favorite mini games. Uh, uh, gotta put this on here. As for next one, balcony bolt. Well, it's kind of like a difficult mini game because of. Well, it's kind of like not bad mini game. Well, okay, I will decrease haunted hallways to dif less difficult because, uh, and I should say balcony bolt. Well, it it depends on how how difficult which way are you going, which one is the correct door. So I gotta say between turnable scurry and hedgeway out. As for laser guidance, uh, a very well made mini game, but also uh, kind of like less not bad, but yeah. Okay, so as for laser tag, well, one of my favorite mini games, but also kind of like difficult, kind of like, uh, le less less not bad, but well, it's like uh, it's like between it's like blow dry battle or something. Or and yeah, and also laser tag. Uh, it's like one of my icon iconic mini game iconic games on on Roblox because um, yeah. As for laser tag, uh, I, I gotta say it's uh, between gear battle and football fever. 
Well, it's technically a good mini game, but also very well made. As for Lava Forecast, uh, very easy mini game. Uh, I would say uh, cloud between cloud control and whack a block. As for Lights On, uh, uh, Train Trouble and Toxic Reactions uh, over here. Between Train Trouble and Toxic Reactions. A good mini game, by the way, but also they fixed, they, they've they changed it. Uh, they fixed, they, they re, they've they remaked Lights On back in 2020. While Lights On appeared in 2017, back in the day, <laughs> with different kinds of stuff. And, uh, yup. As for Manic Mining, uh, hard mini game, so, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, and also, uh, it's between, uh, Crystal Clear and Accurate, accurate arch Archery, because you have to be the first to get the Emerald. As for Marble Madness, uh, very, another very old mini game. Another very old mini game, uh, mar for, as for Marble Madness, well, very, very well made. Uh, I should say between Waka Block and uh, Big Bomb Boom. As for Technical Mayhem, uh, f well, for Black Hole Scramble, uh, I should say not bad mini game between Black Hole Scramble and Clear Side. Okay, so as for Missile Command, like I said, racing mini games are my favorite, so I, I gotta put this on one of my favorite mini games of all time. So, uh, yeah, but I gotta say, uh, between Hodo Hurry and Teamwork Trial. Okay, so Mower Mania, uh, it's a team based mini game, and, uh, like I said, uh, uh, Mower Mania is kind of like team based mini game. Well, depend, well, it's kind of like not bad mini game. Well, I gotta say, it's between Above Water and High Rolling. And as for Nudge and Budge, uh, uh, one of my favorites because I can spam it really hard. I can spam it really hard as far as, far as they can, so uh, I gotta put this uh, between Castle Climb and Fleet of Facility. As for Balloon Platoon, well, it's a difficult mini game. Well, it's 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 technically the first person to get the correct uh, color. So, uh, yeah, I would say between uh, Manic Mining and Accurate Archery. So as for only one path, uh, you have to be the first person to get through. So uh well back in the day you have to be you have to get to the first person to get through. So I should say well only one path uh maybe less uh, difficult, so I should say above K above uh uh be uh below uh, above uh, haunted hallway, so Okay, so next one is Orb Collection. Well, it's kind of like Obi based team mini game, Obi team based mini game, and uh, yeah, but well, it's difficult. It lets difficult sometimes, but I gotta say, not bad mini game. So uh, yeah. As for Orbit Snatcher, well, v easy mini game that I could totally avoid it easily. So uh, yep. Yeah, and yep. Yeah. And as for Outbreak, well, it's a zombie mini game, so uh, it's kind of like uh, okay, so it's kind of like um, Solo Swordsman. Uh, so I will put this uh, between Solo Swordsman and Cannon Cooldown. Well, as for Pain to Perfection, uh, well, it's technically one of one of the very old uh, mini game mini games on Epic mini games. So, uh, Paint to Perfection, we're very well mini game. I gotta say, between uh, 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 Blast Mining and Cloud Control, though. As for Penguin Pushover, well, very well made mini game, but also inspired by one of my one of Mario Party mini games. So, uh, I gotta say, Penguin Pushover, well, technically, I gotta say, between. Teaching turmoil and bullet evasion. As for pipeworks, uh, easy, good mini game. Also, uh, old one from 2015. So I gotta say, as for pipeworks, I gotta say between um, 
between Bulletbound and Teedrin Turmoil. So, uh, yep. As for Platform Peril, uh, another very old minigame, but also very easy. Uh, I would say not bad minigame, but... Man, uh, not bad minigame, but yeah, I gotta put this uh, between uh, Cannon Cooldown and Spiral Accent. As, as for Protect the Statue, well, it's less difficult. Uh, well, it's less difficult, so uh, I gotta put this between um, Spiky Spinner and Tile Takeover. As for Pirate Pit, well, uh, as for Pirate Pit, um, between Compactor Crash, well, easy one, Compactor Crash and Glider Ground, because, I mean, it's, well, depends on, depends on a profe professional. And as for Battleship a Skirmish, uh, uh, kind of like a difficult mini game, but I would say between accurate archery, because uh, depends on which way are you going to fire. As for Rampant Rhythm, uh, oh yeah, one of my favorite mini games because it's based off of Funky Friday. Well, and also Dance Dance Revolution, so I gotta put this between Expedition Spir Sprint and Hodo Hurry. Okay, so next one is Revolution Cube. Well, it could be difficult sometimes, but also not bad mini game. But I would say, I'll say between Black Hole Scramble and K Technical Mayhem. As for Ring Diver, well, you have to get the golden be uh, before anyone gets it, uh, or you totally run out of way of golden. So yeah, I would say uh, less difficult. So, uh, between Castle Clash and Turnable Scurry. So, uh, yeah. As for Rocket Rumble, well, it's, it's, it's last uh, three people standing. And I kind of like changed it to last person standing before. And, uh, as for Rocket Rumble, well, e well, easy minigame. So, I would say, uh, I would say between Soul Swordsman and Outbreak. As for rolling race, uh, it could be difficult sometimes, but uh, well, depends on uh, be depends on players confusing of which way the balls is coming. So uh, I would say less difficult. So I'll I will give this out to between Hedgeway Out and Spiky Spinner. As for Romper Stomper, well, I would say. I would say not bad mini game uh, above uh, orb collection, but yeah. As for round race, oh yeah, one of my favorite mini games because uh, yeah, it's because I like racing mini games, and I'm gonna put this between Muscle Command and Teamwork Trial. As for Roaring Rush, uh, well, it depends on confusing the buttons of which which buttons are you gonna press, so. I would say not bad mini game. Uh, I would say between high rolling and soul swordsman. After shark survival, well, very well made mini game, and also another very old one. So uh, for shark survival, uh, I got put this uh, between train trouble and lights on. As for shock absorbers, well, uh, it's kind of like a. Not bad mini game for me, so uh, I got to put this uh, between Cliff Cliffside Chaos and Cube Factory, or maybe between uh, Crumble Island Dehydration. As for the last two, we got uh, Beat Block. Uh, well, Beat Block is one. It's it kind of like inspired by one of the levels from Super Mario 3D World. Did did and uh, yeah, but in terms of blue block, and next one in the in the next couple of seconds, it turns into red block. So yeah, uh, very very well made. Um, so I got put this as a very well made mini game. Uh, as for good mini game, uh, above dodgeball and uh, book squash. And as for battery ball, yeah, he uh, the developer made a comeback mini game from the from those past years, and the developer made a new map. Uh, so as for Backstreet Brawl, they've changed it to the last, the last, uh, the per, the people, the person gets gets the most KOs. So it's kind of like laser tag, to be honest. So, well, it's it's compared to the laser tag, though. 
Well, as for laser tag uh, or rocket, uh, I, I I should say Backstreet Ball. It's like a very old mini game, but I would say the most uh, very well made game. So yeah, and guys, I think that is my tier list uh, of. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? And and if you want to, if you, and like I said, if if you guys want to create yourself a tier list of my, uh, create yourself a tier list. Uh, and edit yourself. Then the link is in the description. The link is in the description down down below. And also, if you if you want to see more videos of this, uh, then be sure to be sure to thumbs up the video for supporting safety. And also turn on, turn on notifications on. Turn on notifications on. Uh, follow follow my social media description below. Subscribe to my channel for for more videos like for more videos like this. Uh, turn, and I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Bye.